Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in today. And today we're going to do an upper body strength workout. It's a little CrossFit inspired. Um, at least the first um, section, we're gonna do a 20 minute EMOM for our um, the majority of this workout. So it's 20 minutes, there's four exercises, and we're gonna do five rounds. So the way an EMOM works is you're gonna start the reps of each exercise at the top of the minute. So four exercises means four minutes, five rounds, 20 minutes. So there's no full recovery. Whatever rest you get once you finish the reps is the rest that you're gonna get in the entire 20 minutes. So I've already gotten warm. So if you have not, you can get warmed up right now while I show you guys what the exercises are. So the first exercise today is, is, is pull-ups. There's five of them. If you are at home and you don't have a pull-up bar, you're gonna do five dumbbell snatches per arm, which I'll give you a quick rundown on all of this. But five pull-ups, being 19 months pregnant, I cannot do, well, maybe I can do five assist, unassisted, but not for five rounds. So five assisted or unassisted pull-ups, okay? We're gonna go with regular pull-ups today, full range of motion. If you can, try to fully extend those elbows too for a dead hang to a full pull-up or dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell snatches, if you've been doing other workouts with me, you're gonna do five per arm if you're doing um, the snatch though, okay? So right here, it's like an upright row with power and then punch all the way through the ceiling, rotate that elbow. Bring it on down right here. So five and five, rest the remainder of the minute. Then we have 10 dumbbell cleaning presses. <clears throat> so if you're, if you're doing the snatches, you're gonna be doing a little bit of overhead work today, just a little bit. So dumbbell clean and snatch, if you, or um, clean and press. If you would like, you could do a barbell clean and press. Being that I'm pregnant, <sighs> and my stomach is getting a little bit too big. It's not really worth me doing the barbell right now. So I'm gonna do dumbbell, those dumbbells. Okay, this is the one time it's okay to swing that bicep curl, right? Push those hips back, catch, use the lower body to press overhead, catch back and reset. You have 10. <clears throat> you'll, notice, you'll notice a pattern here. Then we have 15 dumbbell rows. So the top of the third minute. Okay, grab set of weights. Okay, we're gonna go. Narrow, dumbbell rows, 15, rest the remainder, and then we have 20 push-ups. I'm gonna be taking the modification on my knees, okay? So full push-up on the toes or knees, modify. Make sure that you're gonna bring that elbow back at a 45 degree angle, right? We just don't want the nose dive and the elbow chicken wing to come out. All right, shoulders away from the ears, pull the belly in nice and tight, and then the elbows go back in a 45, and then you're just gonna bring that chest, or in my case, belly to the floor, okay? 20 reps. Whatever rest you get after those 20 push-ups, we go right back to the five pull-ups. Then we're gonna have a strict strength set. We'll go over that when we get there, and we have a finisher Tabata. So oh, in total, it's gonna take somewhere around 30 to 35 minutes in total to finish. So I'm gonna put music on. We're jumping right in. So by this time, hopefully you are warm if you have been listening. <laughs> so once that timer starts, you're gonna start your five dumbbell snatches or five pull-ups on each side. So if you want your own music, put it on. Five pull-ups is gonna start in five, four, Three, two, and let's go. Five. If you're still doing your dumbbell snatches. You want to do these reps as fast as possible so you get as much rest as possible, right? Dumbbell clean and press is up next. We still got 20 seconds here. Oh, 
Also, I should note, if you don't need the band for five pull-ups, don't use it, right? You want that to be as challenging as possible. Here we go in three, two, dumbbell clean and press, 10 reps. Five pull-ups is not challenging for you even without even body weight. You have the option, you can add weight to your body. Wear a weighted vest. <laughs> you can hang a weight from your hips if you have something to do that with. You can even use a resistance band to do that. We got 20 seconds. Clean and press is coming. seconds. Set it up. Set. Three, two, go. <laughs> My lats are already woke up. Come on.
my second. Ready? Go. Hips back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Drive those elbows up. Another way to modify. 
you have a bench or chair, stable chair or wall. Go. doing the snatches, you're probably getting less rest than me. But that's okay. Most likely you're not pregnant. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got 10 seconds. Woo! Ready? Set?
going to take a short break. We're going to go right into strictly strength after this. Go.
but 18 is too heavy. I only have 115. So I'm going to use 10s and I'm going to go to 15 reps. We're going to stay hammer curl, um, go regular bicep curl, torso it all the way to the top. If you don't have heavy enough dumbbells, you can also use a resistance band if you have one. Right? Oh, which if you don't have a resistance band, it'll just be dumbbell overhead extensions in place of the resistance band. And then we're coming down. We're going to kneel. We're going to row. High, high row here. Elbows back and in. Squeeze our rear delts together. Squeeze shoulder blades, rear delts, mid back. Right? Straighten some back and more shoulders here. So, four moves. We got 10 seconds. So we're going to start. Ready or not. Set. Go. 10 reps, lateral flies. One, two, three. Knuckles to the ceiling. Nine. Ten. Oh, my God. 15 curls. 
14. Oh, 15. Woo! I'm burning. I don't know about you, but I'm burning. Throw it back, fly. body here. The move, there's only one. That's right. So we're going to come down to the floor. Now Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds. That's one full Tabata. So this is a four minute finisher. So this is going to bring us right around 35 minute workout. Okay, so this is going to get harder for me to do. <laughs> bring it. But we're going to bridge kick and toe tap. Okay. So we're pulling our core in nice and tight. Our upper body really is holding us up in our arms. Push through those heels. Okay, you're gonna get a little bit of legs here. Um, but really our upper body's gonna wear out pretty good too just from holding us up. Um, and then our core is getting activated. So we're gonna go in. You got 10 seconds until our first set here. <laughs> Time. 
hammer's gonna come on. We're waiting for that bell. That first ding, we start. Second ding, we stop. Here we go. Let's go. the body. Now, if that wasn't enough, you could always pick another move, another favorite upper body move, and do another Tabata set on your own, like bare shoulder taps, 
or something plank up downs something body weight but still hit, hit the shoulders um, or chest wouldn't recommend push-ups at this point since we already did a hundred of them you can do tricep dips so if you want you can pick another one of your favorite exercises we've been doing and hit another Tabata if you want to make it a little bit more tilt each way chin to chest arms out in front separate those shoulder blades release it take a big inhale up exhale down y'all are done questions comments please leave them below make sure you subscribe and like this video